back with us on Morning Blend attorney Sally Babbitt, Babbitt Legal Group. Sally, you said before, clients have a lot of misconceptions about deeds. I know I do. What, what do we need to know about them? Yeah, I run into, strangely enough, a lot of problems with deeds. And just to be clear, the only uh, methodology of determining ownership or transferring ownership of real estate is with a deed. And so that's that's really what we're talking about here. Um, but, you know, really, there's there are different kinds of deeds, and I think people don't understand those either. So we hear a lot about a quit claim deed. Now, that's Q-U-I-T. It's almost always pronounced to me as a quick claim deed, Q-U-I-C-K. That is not the correct term. Yeah. I almost never, ever use a quit claim deed, and this is why. Because basically, a quit claim says, I'm going to deed over my interest in property a b c whatever whatever interest i may have to you well that means i could deed your house to somebody else because i'm not guaranteeing that i even have an interest in that house so from that perspective i don't like them uh title companies hate them and they create a lot of issues so most common deed, the one that I use most of the time is a warranty deed. And that deed literally is warranty. You're warranting that you have clean title to that and that you have ownership and you, you can indeed transfer ownership to the other person. The other thing about the warranty deed is it will go through more steps when you send it in for recording. So it's going to go to the assessor's office. They're going to verify the legal description. They're going to verify the ownership. And this is $5 more for recording. Okay. Um, and title companies love them. So that's usually used. Now, one that I use is called a fiduciary deed or covenant deed. That's when a uh, personal representative of an estate or a trustee of a trust is transferring out. And basically, that's a limited warranty. So that's saying that all I'm saying is I have not done anything to encumber this property. I'm just transferring out of the entity. Uh, so we use those a lot to protect our fiduciaries. But that's kind of in a nutshell um, what the different deeds are. And that's why we hire attorneys to sort this all out for us. <laughs> that's exactly right. You know, that's it's uh, it is confusing. It's amazing. Yeah. And then, then there's a whole different. We could do a whole another segment, and I probably will on types of ownership, tenants in common, joint tenancy, and stuff. We will so, do that yeah. next time. <laughs> Your deal then that it appears. Yeah. Thank you, Sally. You're welcome.